All right, we are back with another episode, Rule of the Waves. Uh, that's the name of the game we're playing since I think it's now 48, 49 episodes. And we are still in the war against Italy. And we're also trying to slowly wrap up this uh, campaign game. Now, what I would like to do is, before we hit the turn button, uh, to have a look at, I think it was West Africa. We have two armored cruisers in service in West Africa. And I think one of them is being obsolete. I think, if I remember correctly, yeah, that should be one of our colonial ships. And this ship here, the Dresden, can be now scrapped. Because it is replaced by the Hertha. Okay, we scrapped the ship and see that we have 125 tons uh, deficit in terms of tonnage that is serving uh, overseas. So I think what we should also do to compensate for that is to send an old destroyer um, class, to send an old destroyer uh, from Europe, as at four class maybe, that is currently on combat patrol to West Africa. And I think we can spare the ship, so we set it to the active fleet and move it to West Africa. Where is it? Up there. That should be enough. Anything else we wanted to do? We see that we have a bunch of patrol boats working up, so we can relieve a lot of destroyers pretty soon from coastal patrol duty in Europe. And apart from that, I think I might want to rotate out the Königsberg 2 from the Mediterranean theater to, well, to rest the crew, but uh, that doesn't have any in-game purpose, I think. But what I actually want to do is to send the um, Danzig, which is, should be the newest ship, if, as far as I remember, the newest battleship. And I would like to send the Danzig to gain experience in the Mediterranean. Okay. That should be it for the moment. Yep, let's hit the turn button. We know AMC Neptune is commissioned, AMC Lieselotte is commissioned, MS Greta is commissioned. Our submarines uh, sink three ships, Italian submarines sink all those, uh, also three ships, and the bad cruiser Goeben intercepts an Italian raider in northern Europe. And we'll fight this battle. There we go. Magdeburg class battlecruiser. Let's see what we can find. Unknown ship sighted. Let, let's actually lock the screen on the Gurben. And let's show the main gun range as always. What about sighting range? That looks alright. Gentle breeze, cloudy. It's pretty early in the morning. Let's see what we're up against. It's a destroyer, probably just a screen, I would assume. Let's try and chase it. It's actually a light cruiser, Nino Bixio class, as far as I remember, uh, already outdated and maybe a bit slower than our ship is. A bit faster, I mean. I think it's one knot faster. Let's see. I uh, can pause the game from here. Yeah, we're making 27 knots, so I don't have to look up the data card. Getting quite close. Let's get a bit slower. That should be a, quite a one-sided battle. What about the range? About half the range. Let's, uh, Get a bit faster again, so we can close in. It's difficult to hit this small ship. All right, I locked the screen. Everything we need, I would think, is a one hit.
so that shouldn't be too exciting. Hopefully the Danzig can actually gain some experience in the Mediterranean. Lots of splashes. But nothing really close. Let's try and intercept the ship and sandwich it between our ship and the coast. And there we go, hitting the enemy ship. And I think they say light damage. I think it should be damaged a bit more. And it also got quite a bit slower. So I think that was a good hit. I don't want to risk our ship of being hit by a torpedo. We might get into trouble when being hit by a torpedo. But we're getting quite close, so I can make sure that we actually hit this agile ship. And we're getting quite a few hits now. And I think that should have been it. Medium damage, it says now. Slow down even more. Okay, that's, uh, that was fair enough. Major victory, obviously. And that's 100 and 100,000. 1,111 victory points for us. I think the AMCs are still working up, correct? Working up, yeah. So we still wait a bit till they're done. The enemy has found us out about a negotiated peace. We should not let them off cheaply. And that's it. Peace is concluded. What can we take? We can only take Sardinia. The three AMCs that we just have finished building are now being sold off to civilian shipping companies. And we see that the UK is lying down a new bed cruiser class, and we would like to have a look at that. So we have a look at ships. BC, incomparable. 45,000 tons, it's quite a bit. How many years do we have to play now? It's uh, the June of 1923. Huh. And I don't think that it's worth it to lay down another battleship. Or would it? We could build another Dunsey class. Would that make a difference? Well, in fact, we have to at least slow down this one. Finishing quite a few ships next month. And let's see how our finances look like in the next month, next turn, since we're a bit in the deficit right now. Commissioning a few destroyers. I would like to 
moved back all the capital ships in the Mediterranean, or at least most of them. including the keel classes we don't have an ah uh, that could be a problem we don't have an egg and fertile class for the mat hmm, so let's keep our two light cruisers in the Mediterranean for a while And I think after this war we should definitely scrap the Berlin class. They have served their purpose well for long enough. Farewell. That gives us 1.6 million credits and we are now sufficiently financed again. What are we building at the moment? Another battle cruiser and a bunch of Z7 class destroyers. Hmm. Let's let's actually pretend the game wouldn't end in 25. Maybe there's another war coming. And let's just start constructing a new battleship class. I think that would be a good idea to do. We definitely don't want to have the AON armor, the all or nothing armor. Torpedo defense too. Speed. I don't remember what we had with the old classes. How fast is the Danzig class? That's 24 knots. I definitely want to make them faster. Design ship. Let's increase the tonnage. Da, 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 da. I know I could type in the numbers, but for some reason, the game always jumps back to some random number once I hit enter. So that's why I'm clicking like crazy for a bit. Go for let's say 25 knots. Fuel type oil, range medium. Now the belt should end up at around, I guess, 10 inch. Belt coverage normal. Let's go with a 4 inch deck armor. What do we do with the Danzig again? Uh, I can't open the design screen while we are designing a new ship otherwise the data would overwrite the new one 10 and a half inch belt 4 inch deck let's try and go with 4 and a half inch then and 11 inch belt conning tower let's go with uh, 16 inch turrets turret top 6 inch might be a bit too much, but we can correct that after that. 14 inch. Okay, caliber should be 15 inch. Add turret. Let's make it a triple turret. Yeah. Forward, forward superimposed, aft, superimposed, and aft. So that's more like it. This doesn't look like a superimposed gun, but it is. It should be. The aft gun should be superimposed. Actually, we could... Uh, let's just uh, design some superstructure by ourselves. But I won't put too much effort in it. Just warning you. Um, something like that. Something like uh, this. Yeah, it looks uh, fair enough. 
Nah, that's not it. Mm, more like it. Okay. That would mean we have 6, 12, 15 inch guns. I think the Königsberg actually has more guns. Let's make it 140. Three fire control positions, director. Add torpedo defense, secondary armament, deck extended, let's make it uh, 2 inch, belt extended, like 9 inch, and then we have to see where we save some weight. Mm, fuel type, oil. Maybe just 130 rounds per gun. We will definitely have slope deck. Increase this to 51,000 tons available. Make this just like on the other classes, 10.5 inch. I mean on the other classes, by that I mean um, the, what was it called, Danzig class. Belt extended, I don't know how much we had on the Danzig, let's see. Doesn't say anything here. Yeah, let's just go with 8 then. Why do we have, ah, deleted the turrets forward, forward superimposed, half, half superimposed, triple turrets go. Still a thousand tons too heavy. Five inch. Does it say anything about the turret tops? Nothing. Design ship. Hmm, maybe that's a bit too much. 14, let's go for 12 inch. <laughs> that looks like this is going to work. Now just a few minor adjustments. Let's go with the conning tower down to 15. Ah down to 40. We don't have any secondaries. To not have any secondaries, uh, that's a bad idea. 14 inch sounds alright. Belt extended 7.5. That leaves us with 150 tons. Let's go with the 4 inch guns. Maybe in twin turrets? Uh, that's not much. That's uh, pretty much nothing. But we just go with a few less rounds per gun and then we increase the number of turrets. Then we have six twin turrets, meaning we have 12 guns in total, secondary guns, six guns per side. That's okay. Let's increase elevation. I don't know what that means. I think it's a bit more expensive and we just get a bit more range, but that's no matter to me at the moment, as long as it doesn't bring any disadvantages, and I think that's uh, what it does, no disadvantages. Uh, we have no torpedo defense. That's not what I wanted. Another thousand ton that we have to save somewhere. <sighs> Again, fuel type oil. This is getting increasingly difficult. No torpedoes, that's okay. Turrets. So let's go with 11 inch maybe on the turrets.
yeah, that should be it. Four and a half inch on the turret tops. Okay. Whew. Um, so the armament is pretty much the same. I, no, it's not. I think it's less. Let's see. So we have uh, 12 guns on this new class and 12 guns on the Dunsey class. How many guns do we have on the Königsberg 2? Only 11. So that's uh, definitely well, at least one more gun. Let's call it Let's call it... What happened? Why does it just... Oh, why did it delete the turrets? That's just incredibly annoying. After, after superimposed triple turrets, 120 guns. Oil. Director. Now we have 839 tons left, and I'm that, that makes me a bit nervous because we didn't have their torpedo defense. That's it. That was missing. Okay. Okay, must have a name. That's something we will solve now. Okay, the last ship we called Danzig. We have Königsberg already. Uh, major cities. I think I'm pretty much running out of big Prussian or to, well, German cities in general that are important for overall German history. Uh, quite a few East German cities that come to mind, but not necessarily anything. Well, we didn't have that many Western German city names, actually. How about Cologne, Köln? Maybe Trier as an arc bishopry. Another one. Uh, uh, uh. Aachen. Yeah, that might be a good name. Aachen as the one of the oldest, let's say, capitals for I think it was Emperor Friedrich who resided there. Yeah. Let's go for Aachen. Aachen class. And save the design go to the build screen and then fall off the chair because it costs so much. That's, uh, yeah, 6.5 million a month. Let's wait with that for a moment. Under construction, a few more months and we have uh, a lot more credits left available because we finished construction on quite a few destroyers. Yeah, sure. That's exactly what happens right after we develop this uh, battleship. Though, we could still change it. It's not yet uh, being constructed. Okay, let's do exactly that. Let's uh, change the design. Delete the old one, build ship. Aachen, delete design. Yes. Design ship. And make it a 52,000 ton ship. Uh, again, turrets. Forward superimposed, aft, aft superimposed. Yep, there we go. Director and torpedo defense. That leaves us with 91 tons. Why do we have only 91 tons left when we increase the size by a thousand tons? Ah, there we go. Oil firing. That's a few more tons. Uh, why do we have 6 inch guns here? I wanted to have 4 inch guns in double turrets. There we go. Quite a few more. Secondary guns. I think that's not enough to increase the turret top armor again. Oh, it is. It actually is. 73 tons left. No, that won't work. That won't work. Okay, 73 tons left. Three fire control positions. Oil firing 25 knots fast. 
I don't think there's anything we could do with you 73 tons, but that's alright. That's alright. Should be. Actually, we take 5 inch guns, so we have the quality 1 advantage. And maybe add another. Yeah, uh, turret? Yeah, that's. That's okay. Save it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's uh, switch the calibers here because otherwise we would get a penalty. Go up to 10. No. Double turrets 10. And go down to 4. That should be working. 110 tons left. Yeah, there we go. That should be it. Finally. That's okay. Yep. Even a bit more expensive than before, but we can live with that. And we'll wait with the construction on the commissioning a new destroyer. And that should have been the last thing to do for us in this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you tune in again the next time. Take care.